Do you agree that this is a free flight? Oh, yes. This is an ultraviolet. We call it nuking. We use it anytime we have a positive COVID test. I am Karen Borneman, MD, uh, board certified family medicine. I've been at Cleveland State since 1989 and think a great deal of the place. I really do enjoy my students and my patients. Again, COVID and pandemic really took its toll on a lot of rich people, but there were so many people, staff and faculty on campus I knew over the years that there was so, a lot of continuity. I, you know, would, it, that was lovely. I've also had up to three generations of Cleveland State students. So I had one of the early 30s mom, I had her daughter, and then about two or three years ago, the granddaughter. At an orientation once, this one you know, middle-aged woman comes in towing this 18-year-old great tall guy. She says, Dr. Barneman, you're still here. You did my pregnancy test. Oh. And I said, well, you do good work. <laughs> I remember a physician colleague said to me once, college health, that's got to be boring. A bunch of colds and sore throats and maybe an STD or two. And everything, I mean, even something that I, yeah, I will look at the schedule and think, oh, well, this doesn't look very exciting today. And somebody will throw me an interesting curveball or something is far different than I would have thought. Or... I have to do a whole appointment in Google Translate. If, like an international student, if, for instance, they don't understand the word allergy in English, mm -hmm. or I'm not convinced they understand it and are just going, uh huh, you know, and I, I pull up Google Translate, thank God for Google Translate, mm -hmm. and individual words. So something that might be otherwise doesn't sound like anything too exciting takes on some, some wild, wild turns. And, I've had a chance to see Hansen's disease, which is leprosy, you know, over the years. I've seen malaria. Times people will come for an appointment and then literally as they about go out the door, oh, by the way. And the oh, by the ways are often the real heart of the matter. It's, I always think of like in anything, if you're talking to somebody and they're new to you, then you kind of have to build a level of trust or rapport. And it, I sometimes view those as, I mean, it, it, there's part of me that it makes me crazy, but the part of me I totally get, which is they finally built up enough courage to say what they really needed to say, you know. And for that, that's important. Well, to give you an idea, like today I came in at 7.20. We officially open at 8, but during that time I was getting myself up on three different computers, getting the lab stuff off the lab, checking the temperatures on, on the uh, freezers and refrigerators that we keep vaccines on and logging those in, um, and starting to call some of the people who had abnormal labs right before eight. Um, and then because we don't have enough staffing, I sat at the desk and made appointments till the person that comes to work, work the desk gets in about quarter till nine. We see our last patients, give or take around four, and then we have to kind of do the same thing in reverse. <laughs> like a lot of places everywhere, and including a lot of Cleveland State offices, we're pretty darn short staffed. I tell people, well, usually, most anything you'd go to your family doctor for. We do, uh, you know, illness-related visits, uh, a lot of sexually transmitted disease uh, things, some limited gynecology, contraception, um, HIV testing, vaccines, things like that. First of all, we exist. We can bill most insurance, but if somebody has an insurance we can't take, we, if, if it's something that I think is going, we think is going to be expensive, we can give them ideas on where to go for what, what they might need. Um, but if, even if they don't have insurance, we charge a $5 visit fee. And if there's labs of any kind or medicines, and we tell them up front, and they can choose to do or not do it if they want to. But generally, we keep, for most things, we can keep pe people in and out pretty inexpensively. It is not a walk-in clinic. It's not an urgent care. So these are some real important things because you know, you, you have a pretty full schedule of patients, and if somebody comes walking in, I broke my leg, okay, that's good, but they shouldn't have probably limped over, they should have called 911 to get transported, you know. 
and, and we cannot run to people's emergencies. Like we can't run over to the residence hall. So if something is bad, call the, the and they're on campus, call Cleveland State Police at 2020 so they can get the right things happening. In mentioning that it's not a walk-in clinic, what we do have is a limited number of same-day appointments that people would call early, Monday through Friday. We open at eight, so, and they fill fairly quickly. So if somebody has an urgent thing, not, not like you have a wart on your foot for three months, that does not need a same day. But let's say you wake up, or last night had the temperature of 101 and a bad earache then call right at around eight in the morning. Don't walk in, but call and we'll get an appointment. Kind of always wanted to do something medical, I think. I mean, my, my first Halloween costume I can remember, mind you, this is like the late 50s, was a nurse's costume. <laughs>